My name is John Weymouth and thank you for being here for this presentation on Introduction to Cataracts. This program is designed to help you understand why we're using the Alcon Centurion FACO system, or literally any FACO system, to remove the cataract. This is going to give you an idea of what the cataract is and how it's removed. So let's get started. What is a cataract? Cataract is a clouding of the lens of the capsule or the capsular bag. It occurs gradually over time and it can eventually cause complete blindness. This picture shows you the lens on the left where the pupil is dark and on the right you'll see there's a little clouding or whiteness going on. Now there are different types of cataracts. There's the nuclear, cortical, and the subcapsular. The nuclear cataract is the most common type. It's associated with aging and it forms in the center of the lens and progresses outward. And if you need an analogy, a peanut M&M is a good analogy of what a lens looks like. So the center of the peanut M&M is a nut. That's what we call the nucleus of the lens. And then there's multiple layers like an onion. And each of those layers form what is called the cortex. And then the outer shell, which like on a peanut M&M is a candy shell, on the lens it's called the capsule. So the cortical cataract, as we just mentioned, this is the chocolate of the peanut M&M, it starts to turn opaque. And it begins as wedge-shaped spokes on the periphery of the lens and extends into the center of the lens. It causes glare and loss of contrast. And it's common in people with diabetes. It also occurs with the types of drugs that you might take. If you take a lot of steroids, that gets into your bloodstream. It gets into the ciliary body. It creates the aqueous with these extra drugs in it. Those soak into the lens and it causes a change in the cell morphology and you get this clouding that occurs. Next we have the subcapsular cataract. This develops very slowly. It's kind of rare, but it does happen. It be begins as a very small opacity under the capsule, usually at the very back of the lens. And the symptoms really may not appear until it's fully developed. So if you're looking at the peanut M&M, it's between the candy coating shell and the cortex, where that surface becomes very irregular. Looking straight into the eye, you can't really tell, but the doctor will use a special camera, which looks at the side of the lens through a, a, a sharp angle, and they can see the reflections coming off that rough surface. Next, we're going to talk about cataract symptoms. Cataracts basically cause a painless blurring or the dimming of vision, light sensitivity. Uh, when you look at the sunlight, you get a lot of glare. Driving at night, the headlights become very large and glare. And if you look at an eye chart or some sort of structure with high contrast, you'll see a ghost image that'll appear. Next are the surgical techniques. Extracapsular cataract extraction, ECCE. This is a technique where the surgeon makes an incision into the cornea, and it's typically 180 degrees, so they make a very large incision, and they remove the cataract as one piece. Can cataracts be prevented? No one truly understands why the lens changes. Some factors have been identified, exposure to forms of radiation, Pilots, astronauts, and sunbathers usually develop cataracts faster than anyone else. Cortical steroids, diuretics, and tranquilizers. But basically, more studies are needed to really enhance the understanding. So cataract treatment. Usually, it does not require an immediate treatment. Basically, your prescription for your lenses will change, and it can help improve to a point. But no medication or prescriptions will cause a cataract remission. Once it starts, it continues. Surgery becomes necessary when the prescriptions can no longer provide cl clearer vision. And surgery is really the only way to remove a cataract. So a quick review. These are the different types of cataracts. Starting in the upper left-hand corner, we have the cortical because it's coming in from the edges. The next picture shows a cortical cataract. So you can see those little white areas coming in from the bottom left-hand corner. The third picture over at the top is the nuclear cataract, where it's forming in the very center. And our next picture on the middle left is the nuclear cataract. 
And then the same with the center picture, it's a nuclear cataract, and the one on the far right is a nuclear cataract. In the bottom row, you see a cataract that's white. This has been a very old uh, cataract, and they call these either brunescent or they call them white. They can be either super, super soupy or very, very hard. And then in the bottom center, again, another cortical cataract. And on the bottom right-hand corner, that is a subcapsular. It's very rare, and you can see that they have the light coming in from a very steep angle, so it's reflecting off the ridges and bumps on the back surface. If we were to look straight into this eye, we could never tell that it had a subcapsular cataract.